what's up you guys, Shardim is Prime here doing another P.O. Box Pickups video slash comic book haul video. Uh, before I get to anything, I want to say Happy Veterans Day to all you veterans that have cajones twice the size of my head for doing something for all of us here that we can't do ourselves. Uh, so, um, just gotta say Happy Veterans Day, much respect to you guys, and thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. Anyway, and also happy comic book day for everybody else. So, um, a lot of stuff at the comic book shop today I picked up. Got an action figure, and I got my comics at Coast Side Comics. If you're on the coast and you want comics, go to Coast Side Comics, alright? Uh, I got my Harley Quinn animated series figure right here. I'm very, very excited to open this. Review coming next week, probably. Or maybe sooner. I don't know. We'll see. And then the comics that I got over here. Oh man. Gotta show these comics off before we get to the other stuff. I have some giveaways to announce as well, so stay tuned for that. I'll talk about that in a second. So we have all new Wolverine number one. Pick this one up right there. And I haven't read any of these yet. We have the all new, all different Avengers. Not totally all different. I still see a Captain America, an Iron Man, and a Thor and a Vision. But you know, they're different. But yeah. Nice work from Alex Ross. I believe that's Alex Ross. Looks like Alex Ross. And then we have Batman, e Batman and Robin Eternal number six. Been really liking this. And we have Captain America White number four. I am really enjoying Captain America White. I think Tim Sale and Jeff Loeb are killing it. I really like this a lot. And we have Carnage number one. Curious to see how this is. So there's Carnage number one. And my voice cracked. And we got Chewbacca number three. An enjoyable read. I'm liking Chewbacca number three. I just read Star Wars, was it number nine from last week? A lot of Chewbacca stuff going on in the Star Wars comics. And we got Darth Vader number 10. Or 12. Number 12 right there. Is this sidekick? What's that girl's name? But yeah, this has been a really good read too. Oh yeah. Secret Wars number seven. My least favorite read right now, um, especially because I because Marvel gave up on it. So it's it's like they didn't even let this whole series finish. I mean, I, will, I was willing to give Hickman a chance. I don't I don't really like Hickman's writing. I don't. Okay, people have called me stupid for not liking it, which I think is a terrible thing to say to somebody for not liking what you like. Ooh, man, I can't stand it when people are like, oh, you like what I like. Well, you're a dumbass! It's like, what the hell, man? Jeez. I'm not a huge He-Man fan or anything, but I still support people that are into He-Man and everything. Hey, guys! So, anyway, yeah, Secret Wars number 7. And Spider-Man 2099 number 3. Really liking that. And Thor's number 4, which has been a pretty good read, too. So, yeah, you're under arrest. So, this definitely tied into... The Secret Wars, which I can't wait to be over. Um, I don't like Hickman's writing because he does a lot of things where you're, I feel like I'm left to assume to know what's going on. Or character, he, intru he introduces a lot of characters sometimes where I'm like, I don't know anything about this guy. You haven't given me anything to chew on. Like, I don't care. There's at one point where I was reading Avengers comics and I was like, I don't know these characters' names. Like, Starbrand is one of them, but like, at the moment, I couldn't remember who Starbrand, what Starbrand's name was. Like, there's just a bunch of characters. I'm like, I don't know who these Avengers are. Like, I don't. I see Hyperion. I know who that is. I see Thor. I know who that is. Yeah, but like, yeah. So anyway, uh, now on to the giveaways. All right. So last week I said, or I had mentioned actually a while ago that for my Patreon, for my patrons that contribute twenty dollars or more a month, that I'll be doing like big fat giveaways, expensive giveaways. So. The one I'm giving away right now, and somebody offered me $300 for this. Uh, back when I reviewed the review sample of the Armorauders Bellerophon, and I have it cushioned in a box right over here. So this is the review sample of the Armorauders Bellerophon. They sent me another uh, production sample, so I'm giving away the review sample. And uh, this is going to one of my for $20 a month page, uh, patrons. Now, I have a fifth patron um, and uh, Freedom Day or, or something like that. Uh, I'm going to include you in the next one. I ha I'll have more of these uh, expensive giveaways in the future, but I just have to put I just have to put some time aside so that, you know, the actual, you know, so that the billing period comes up and then you're really entered. So I, I had to hold off on this for the other 20 a month people 
for their billing cycle to come in. You know what I mean? You can't just go in there and write, oh, okay, I'll contribute 20 bucks a month and then, and then back out when it comes time for billing. Because people have done that to me already. So, yay. So anyway, so for the four of you that have had your billing cycle come in, um, and then in the future, um, the, the way I'm going to do it is whoever wins this, uh, you need to wait at least uh, four months until you can be entered into another uh, win, okay? So another drawing. So it'll be a four-month period, which I think is totally fair because, what, four months? That's 80 bucks, and I'm doing a minimum of $100 value for these uh, giveaways. So it's like, you know, I'm you know, I'm like giving you a, a, a one month break until you could win something else again. So, I have the names written in here, all four names written in here, and here we go. All right, we have a winner. I pulled it out of this beanie, by the way, I had the names written down. And, <laughs> all right, well, the winner goes to is Alfonso. <laughs> so, there's Alfonso's name right there, and I did have other winners written in here. This isn't just BS. But Alfonso is a common name that you'll hear on this channel, and I think he deserves it. So why not? See, I have the other, I have the other four papers in here. So I don't want you to think it's a rigged raffle, which you shouldn't be thinking like that anyway. Because why would I go through the trouble? This is me giving stuff away anyhow. So oh god, all right. I had somebody leave a comment saying that they didn't like the way I was giving away free stuff. It's like, ooh, I would punch you really hard in the arm if I saw you in person. Okay. Anyway, um. And it's just the arm, okay? It's not really a salt, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So anyway, we have that going. Um, Alfonso, I'll hit you up, and um, or I'll just ship it out. I have I have your shipping address already, so I'll ship it out to you. You get the Bellerophon, which is a very very cool figure. All right. We also have another giveaway announcement to the person who is winning both of these Kotobukiya statues right here. All right. And that person is Richard Athey. I chose Richard Athey because I have a student named Richard. That's why. That's it. Yeah, I told you. Totally random giveaways. So that is going to Richard Athey. Uh, please send me a personal message via YouTube. Go to my channel. Go to the tab that says About. Or it would be this way you would look. It will say About. And then uh, it'll say personal message somewhere on this side around here. So yeah, send me a personal message on YouTube with your mailing address and I will ship these two beautiful Kotobukiya Bishoujo statues. And thank you so much, Kotobukiya. And I will be having other giveaways in the future. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll, I'll mostly be doing giveaways for patrons. I'll have the $5 a month patron giveaways soon. So stay tuned for that as well. And I'll also have uh, giveaways for non-patrons too, so just giving away all kinds of stuff right over here because you guys give so much to me, all right? Trying to try to be uh, try, trying to pay it forward is the word I think. Okay, so anyway, so letters we have. This is from James, and he's from Southgate, California, and he added uh whoop, trying to like he added my business card. He like printed this out, so I may have given him a business card that was torn up or something. I don't know. We'll see. Let, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. All right, and we got some ooh trading cards in here. Huh. All right. Uh, this looks like the back of oh these are little Valentine's Day card. You must fulfill your destiny. All right, that's very cute. And then we have uh, from one Jedi Master to another. We got a Yoda. Hey, we got a Boba Fett. Hope your Valentine's Day. Okay, I've never seen Star Wars Valentine's Day cards. And then we have. These two guys right here, Anakin and Obi-Wan, it's Valentine's Day. Wow, I've never seen Valentine's Day. I'll give all of those to Charlie the One, probably. And let's see, it says here, Dear Shardimus Prime, this is dated October 4th, 2015. Uh, my name is James Estrada, and I am a huge fan of you and your videos. I started watching you about a year ago. You were the one who inspired me to start collecting Marvel Legends. Awesome. Uh, the only wave of Marvel Legends I have is the Bath Thanos wave. The waves I still need and want are Build-A-Figure Groot, Build-A-Figure Ultron, and Build-A-Figure Hulkbuster. The Hulkbuster is fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for inspiring me to get all these. Though when I tell my parents which ones I want, my dad agrees with me, and my mom rolls her eyes. Hope you like the drawings, your fan, James. Thank you so much, James. Awesome. And, oh, beautiful picture. Beautiful art of Thanos right there. Hell yeah. Alright, looking very, very cool. We got all six Infinity Gems. 
And then, oh, cool, we got some shard art right here. It says Shardimus, is that a, <laughs> Shardimus Prime versus Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. You suck, BTLD Spidey. <laughs> and it's, I think this is the Shard Squad backing me up, and I think you drew, uh, oh, okay, those are little uh, tassels right there. I thought those nipples for a second. But it's it's the little stringy things from from the shirt. I don't think those are supposed to be nipples. And then very angry Shardimus Prime with the Shart Squad. You guys backing me up to whoop the crap out of the Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Which actually doesn't look too bad of a Spider Man. I like it. Big Time Letdown Spider Man. This is pretty nice. Right on, James. Thank you very much. All right, got to throw this up on the fridge. There we go. Put that aside. All right, next letter. And what's the time frame like? You know, this camera doesn't let me know. Yeah, it has no indicator of how long the video is. So that's why these videos go on for so long. And plus, I like to talk a lot. Anyway, uh, I like, oh yeah, I wanted to show this off because I like how it says Shardimus Prime right there on the letter. That's very cool. And then it says, forgot to put this in the letter. What do you think about the upcoming DC Collectibles uh, Classics DC Icon 6 inch figures coming out this year? Possible reviews? Definite reviews. Definite reviews on those icons. I absolutely love what I've been seeing so far. People have told me that they look a little shy of the six inch scale. I don't think so. I've seen them behind the glass. They look amazing to me. Anyway, this is dated October 6th. Uh, Dear Shardimus Prime, hey, this may be a little while after I sent this, but my name is Isaiah, or Isaiah Corpus from Santa Clarita, California, and I love your work and videos. Your energy continues to drag me in for the next video. Awesome. Uh, I hope you and Charlita One are awesome. Oh, she definitely is. I'm half awesome. Anyway, uh, you help me. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. You know, sometimes you try to be funny, but you just like sound like an idiot. All right, you help me get even more interested in DC collectibles, Marvel Legends, Marvel Select, and SH Figure Arts. I made little phrases with some fonts I have, and I hope you like it. And thanks for reading my letter, by the way. I have more Marvel Legends, but I want to get more DC figures, so I wanted your opinion on good DC figures that are equivalent to Marvel Legends and around the same size range. Well, the DC icons. Uh, I was working on an art piece for you, but with school and sports and stuff, I haven't had much time. I'll try to send it to you later on. Thanks again, and help and keep up the great work. Sincerely, Isaiah. Uh, P.S. If you have any DC figures you would like to sell or give away, I would like to be I, I would like to be interested. Uh, contact me. Well, uh, any okay. Yeah. So any giveaways, just stay tuned on the channel. All right. Uh, I'll actually have a DC collectible. Uh, DC Collectibles Creeper figure that I'll be giving away. So and all oh, right on. Oh, this is this is neat. I like this. This is cool. Oh, we have a bunch of uh, fonts right here of Shardimus Prime phrases. So Shardimus Prime, Shardimus Shardobots roll out Mega Shard. Uh, my Shardy sense is tingling with the Spider-Man font right there. May the Shard be with you, Iron Shard. Game of Sharts, Battle Shark Galactica, Planet of the Sharts, Raiders of the Lost Shark, Avenge Sharts, Just, uh, Just Sharts League. Nice. The Justice League font right there. Oh, what else do we have? This is really cool. Uh, Terminus, Terminus Shark, Prometheus Shark, Jurassic Shark, Sega Genesis Sharts. Iron Sharton, oh, like Iron Maiden. Shart Wars, the Phantom Shart. Shart Wars, the Shart Wars. Shart Wars, Revenge of the Shart. Shart Wars, a new Shart. Shart Wars, the Shart Strikes Back. And Shart Wars, Return of the Shart. That is a lot of Shart right there, man. I love it. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, Isaiah. That is too cool. <laughs> wow. Hope you guys enjoyed that. that was, that's really awesome. Okay, one letter, uh, one last letter, and then we'll move on. And, uh, well, yeah, and then that'll be it. I got to run into San Francisco today to teach a bunch of drum lessons. This is from Ryan. Wow, this is such a trip. Okay, so Ryan is from Milbur Milbury, California, and I used to work for the city of Milbury, California back in 2007. And I recognize his street address and everything because when you work for the planning department, you know, you have, you know all the streets and everything. So, what a trip. Plus, uh, and then on top of that, I dated, I've actually dated two different girls from Millbrae. So, yeah. Anyway, um, but I'm sorry I didn't like Millbrae enough to stick with the Millbrae girl. I stuck with the San Francisco girl. Oh my god, this artwork looks really good. Okay, so this is dated October 10th. Uh, wow, I cannot wait to look for... Okay. Uh, it says, What's up, Shardimus? First and foremost, I wanted to send you a very big thank you. Wow, look at that text. That is a serious thank you. 
And it says, for all the many, many hours of YouTube entertainment you've created, the enthusiasm you have for your figures is infectious, your humor is hilarious, and the constant uh, masochistic punishment of big time let down Spider-Man is laugh out loud till your sides split entertaining. Can I quote this? This is an awesome review of a reviewer, by the way. I like it very much. Thank you. Um... He says, uh, question, why him? Is there a specific reason why you singled this figure out? Yes, uh, the big time letdown spider, and a lot of people still ask this all the time, but the figure was actually, the prototype for the big time Spider-Man figure was very cool looking. It had very dark black and then very bright glowing green look to it, and the figure itself did not come out looking the way we saw in the prototype. It was the factory's fault, they just didn't paint it correctly, so the overspray just looked way... It, it, it was it was a disappointment, man. I, I thought it was going to be a very cool figure, but it let me down. And um, and then it just and just also that that figure is the perfect Marvel Legend size. It is the most average Marvel Legend figure uh, size out there. So it's a great comparison. You're basically when I compare that figure to other figures, it's basically letting you know what it's going to look like next to the average Marvel Legend. So I really like the height of that figure as well. And then last, and then uh, and then the reason why the, the masochistic punishment, um, I just did, I just dabbled a little bit here and there, but doing it consistently is for the Patreon account. People have short-term memory loss, or people just start following the channel recently and they don't know this. But the reason for all those stop-go animations is to encourage people to become a patron. So. That's why it is what it is. Anyway, uh, after uh, about six months ago, I picked up my first Marvel Legend, the excellent Series 3 Wolverine. Hey, that was my first Marvel Legend, too. Uh, since then, my Marvel collection has grown to 16 figures, and your videos have been very instrumental in helping me decide which figures to buy. As a newer collector, I'm saddened that I missed out on so many great figures when they hit retail, and instead I have to resort to buying them on eBay. Yeah. Uh, it seems the quality of Marvel Legends now just got just doesn't compare to the Toy Biz days of yesteryear. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, but they're getting better though. In a lot of ways, they're getting better. We're seeing a lot more interchangeable hands, cooler build of figures, you know. But yeah, I still have to agree with your previous statement. Anyway, uh, like you, I am a responsible adult in my 30s and also married. Uh, whenever I doubt myself and question whether or not. It's still okay for me to be buying toys at this age. I put on one of your videos and you remind me that it's okay. Thank you for this and it's a cool feeling to know that I'm not alone in this little toy obsession here. Keep up the great work. Sincerely, Ryan. B.S. I hope you like the shard art that's enclosed. Okay, just to go back to this whole adulthood buying figures. I don't understand why it's socially acceptable for a man in his 30s to go to a bar and waste a hundred bucks on a bunch of alcohol okay and now I'm all for drinking alcohol don't get me wrong okay but I'm just saying that it's messed up that I feel like it's socially acceptable to waste your money you know on drinks okay and you call it a waste because you know it ends up in the toilet later right and on a bunch of drinks going out trying to get some and, and all that stuff it's totally socially acceptable to blast a hundred bucks in a night like that but it's not okay to spend a hundred bucks on an action figure that's gonna make that person very happy for a very long time they get to keep the figure as long as they want to and if they want and if they end up needing to sell it they can sell it a hundred bucks on a night of drinking you will never get that money back you may not even get all those memories back so that's like like I said I'm all for drinking you know so I'm not trying to be a hypocrite I'm just saying that society's you know general judgment on how men in their 30s spend their money I think is messed up you know so anyway thanks again what was your name man Ryan Ryan awesome man and then I hope to see you at the toy show in December uh, if you can go to that yes oh this is so badass oh dude yeah Right on. Even though I, I know it's supposed to be me, but like, oh, dude, that's so cool. Look at that. No, why no angle pivot? Yeah, that is so sick. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Thank you so much. I love this. Wow. Fantastic. And fantastic art, by the way, too. Hey, you guys know I love the Hulk. Dude, great art. Oh, you even got the shading and everything going. He has, he has multiple types of shading in here, too. He has the inks, and then he also has, like, the greens darkening on certain parts and everything like that. Check this out, Amor. 
Are you okay? Yeah, 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 this is cool. Like, Charlita won. It's Veterans Day, so she has the day off today, and she can hear me scream. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? Oh, hell yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Oh, definitely going up on the fridge. Thank you so much, Ryan. Wow, you guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Really, really great stuff in the P.O. Box today. Uh, if you guys want to send your letters and artwork to Shortermas Prime, P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. Uh, as you can tell, there is a little bit of wait time, but I am keeping everything in order as much as I can and just going through the pile of stuff. And I will see you guys next week. All right. Peace.